the Ford LTD LX Fox Body. You know, that GTA Vice City cop car. A car that literally, in the most literal sense of the word, is a four-door Fox Body Mustang. A car who owes its entire existence to a race car driver. What what the hell am I talking about? All right, th this is going to be quick. A quick one-minute history lesson. Here we go. It's late 1983. Legendary race car instructor Bob Bondurant is teaching his students. He normally used two-door Fox Body Mustangs at the time, but he needed more room. More room equals more students, and more students equals more money. Duh. Anyways, as luck would have it, Ford had actually released a Fox Body four-door sedan known as the LTD. Sadly, it was underpowered with a 3.8 liter V6 and a three-speed auto, but not for long. Bob Bondurant actually took a select few of the LTDs and he slapped a four-barrel carbed 5.0 under the hood, threw in a T5 five-speed manual from the Mustang, as well as the front K-member from the Mustang, and that's how the Fox Body LTD LX was born. It's a shame, really. Uh, most of those original Bob Bondurant race cars are now locked away at the race school or some fancy Ford museum across the U.S. But what if I told you that somewhere parked in front of an old barn with deflated tires and an acorn covered engine bay lies one of the last examples of an OG LTD race car. Ladies and gentlemen, this is before you buy 1984 to 1985 Ford LTD LX. Now that before mentioned Frankenstein LTD LX performed so well that one of the top Ford executives decided the public needed one as well. So from 1984 to 1985, only 3,000 models of the Ford LTD LX were made, half of which were actually designated as police vehicles. Hell, most of the marketplace finds that you're going to find when looking up these cars are all former police cars. Remember GTA Vice City? Yeah. But this being the 1980s and Ford already having a fast street car in the Mustang. And for the public and police, they decided to ditch the four barrel carb option that the race car had. And went with a central fuel injection option instead. And they also dropped the T5 Mustang 5 speed and dropped in a 4 speed auto instead. Which actually resulted in a 0 to 60 of 9 seconds compared to the original race car's 7 second and a quarter mile of 16.5. See, Ford's plan was to compete with BMW. They wanted some performance, but not too much <laughs> to scare away the their would-be buyers. 1985 was the last year of the elusive Fox Body LTD LX, as it was killed off the next year by its own cousin, the Ford Taurus Show, which was actually faster, came with a manual, saved more gas, and still had four doors. Uh, with these Fox Body LTDs costing literally close to nothing, on average, they actually sell for about 1500 bucks. And with it being an almost carbon copy of the Fox Mustang with just two extra doors, 
having a longer wheelbase and four doors, uh, I can't help but feel like I just opened Pandora's box. Listen, shh, listen, listen, shh, shh. You hear that? It's a horde. Oh, God, it's the hordes of Fox Body Mustang fanboys clicking furiously through Marketplace. Oh, God, what have I done?